your leader refuse to go in this Bible to give you a solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more giving you lies. We're not African. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. We're not from the 12 tribes of Israel. So we're supposed to give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. Well, have we seen any change? No. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? from day one right now the stand to churches they don't they don't they don't want to let they don't let you know who the who the people are today go read about the Israelites but we don't know where they are you understand go ahead uh, go to Deuteronomy 28 45 because you know the history of Moses right Moses freed the children of Israel out of slavery you understand from Egypt right now this is what he said to them in the wilderness read that real quick the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and shall overtake thee, until thou be destroyed. So he, he warned our forefathers. He said, hey, if you break God's laws, God is going to put curses on you. Right. Yeah, you're the chosen people, but we have a standard of living we must live up to. Right. You understand? God said we're the, be we're the best thing on earth. You understand? What's your name again, bro? Portier, right? Now, Portier. All right. Now, let me show you some of these curses. Oh, continue reading. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Now, I got a question. This right here that happened to us in uh, 1619. Look at this sign real quick. Look at our history right here. 1619. Is this our history? What you see out here? Oh, mistreatment. mistreatment. What about what about these pictures right here? Oh, yeah. Yolks of iron, right? Cotton field, right? Sugar cane field in the Caribbean, right. same thing. Now I'm gonna show you that's in the Bible talking about us. Go ahead, read uh verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Listen yeah. to this curse. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the cities, even to this day. You understand? Look at the cities. Look at the lifestyle and the cities that we're living in. Are we in a good position as a people, bro? You understand, right? So he said, curse from shall thou be in the city. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. From the cotton field to the sugar cane field right. to tobacco field. Right. To this day, we're cursed, bro. You understand? No other nation is going through this. You understand? This is what God is showing you. This is the sign how we're going to know that we are the children of Israel. We're the chosen people. But because we've forsaken his law, God said he's going to punish us. You understand? Read verse 42, 41. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 41. All right, I'll give you one more. Check this out. Thou shalt be got sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Into captivity. He's talking about our slavery. You understand? Let me show you one more. I'm showing you the last one. How did our people get to this side of the world? How did our people get over here? From the west? By the ship. That's in the Bible, bro. Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He's not talking about the landmass because our forefathers walked out of Egypt. He's talking about the condition of Egypt. Slavery, right? Because you understand, you remember the history of Moses, right? Our forefathers were slaves in Egypt. So he said, I'm going to put you back into slavery again. Read. With ships. 
with what? With shit that happened to no other people. You understand? That's only talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said, we are the children of Israel. We are the greatest people on earth. Keep reading. By the whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now what happened to us right after we came off the ships? What did they do to us? Uh, I don't know. I can't make it. All right, no problem. Watch this. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Ye shall be what? Ye shall be sold unto your enemy. God is showing you that. God, this Bible, this prophecy was written thousand years ago. Okay, okay Portier? Over, over there, stop. And God said, Portier, God said, this prophecy was written thousands of years ago. You understand? And God said he's going to make this come to pass if we keep breaking his laws. So you understand, we were sold to another nation, right? Off this, when the slave ships real, uh, when the slave ships made it across here um, on this side of the world, our people were sold. You understand? They got it right here. Negro women and children for sale. This this is our history. Read that part again. Be so, and they and thou shalt be sold unto your enemies for bond man, for slave man, and bond women, and slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. And God said, nobody's gonna save you out of this condition. Cause today, 2019, do you think we're still slaves? We still on the bondage. Give me that Baruch. Baruch. We still on the bondage. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Read that real quick. Baruch chapter 3. Read. That's why we're out here, bro. We're out here to wake our people back up to what we, because because it was our fault that we're in this condition. You understand? That's what God said. We broke his laws. Read. The book of Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. we yet this day in the land of our captivity. We're not free. We're not back in our homeland where we've been. Right. You understand? But like you said, they're men now we're mentally yeah. slaves. Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. What do you know about our heritage? Who were we before slavery? We don't know. You understand? Watch this. It's all prophesied in here, bro. This Bible been talking about us from day one. But nobody has been showing you who we are. That we are the true people of the book. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou... Even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. Shall what? Discontinue from thine heritage. What you know what discontinue means, right? Broken off. Broken off. Exactly right, bro. We have been discontinued from our heritage. You understand? I'm gonna show you something real quick. You ever heard of Willie Lynch? Yeah. Check this out. Go to page 12 real quick. Go to page 12. I already got it ready. Page 12, right here. Exactly. Read that. The book, the, the Willie Lynch letter and the making of a slave, Chap uh, page 12. When we do it with our horses, we break them from one form of life to another. So he's comparing us to how they break horses. You know, horse, when they catch a horse from the wild. Read. That is, we reduce them from their natural state in nature, whereas nature provides them with the natural capacity to take off the of their needs and the needs of their offspring, we break the natural string of independence from them and thereby create a dependency state so that they so that we may be able to get from them useful production for our business and our pleasure. For their business and their pleasure. So they've broken our mentality to basically turn us into the slaves. Now today we think we're free. They took the chains off, but we're still working for them. They've understood that we're not going to even support our own brothers. You understand? But God already said we're not going to prosper. You understand? Okay. All right. Check out that flyer, bro. Give us a call, man. All right. This history is for you. All right.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.